So the Indiana Department of Education had released some information about the grants available to get the robots, so we applied for that and we were one of a few school districts that were chosen. So now we're able to have Milo here at Taft and we have his counterpart Carver over at Wheeler Middle School. <laughs> So not only were we able to get the robots, but we also got a full social skills curriculum that came with them. So it's going to help our students who don't always master social skills easily or in a traditional manner, be able to learn from the robots, interact with them, and then apply it throughout their educational and home settings. We know that for our students with autism and even intellectual disabilities, social skills is one of the hardest things to teach. We know how to teach the academics, we know how to teach communication, but social skills aren't always learned best from an adult modeling or even another peer. So we're really hoping they're going to learn how to be more classroom ready, how to engage with their friends, what to do at a birthday party if they get invited to one from one of their peers, just really improving their overall social skill experience. We can program the robots to say a variety of phrases and greetings. So we can load up each student's name so that the robot can greet them by name. Um, and every robot has an iPad that it is paired with, so the adult can be controlling the iPad and indicating what you want it to say, who you want it to greet. Um, and the student doesn't necessarily know that that's what's controlling it, so it's really neat. And he also likes a good dance party. Let's dance. We're just very thankful for this opportunity to partner with the state and with RoboKind to deliver this to our classrooms. Um, it's something new. We've never had any type of assistive technology like this, so it's really exciting to see kind of the growth that our students will make with it, and we're just excited for the opportunity.